We are here today to authoritatively express that President Trump did not commit an insurrection, uh, and we believe Congress has a unique role in making that declaration. It's not the job of the states, and especially not the job of some bureaucrats in Colorado to make this assessment and interfere with the rights of voters to cast their vote for the candidate of their choice. The very experts who often get on television and talk about securing democracy seem to be the first to want to then remove a candidate from the ballot because they are afraid that he is too popular. We have 63 co-sponsors to the resolution that Ms. Stefanik and I will be filing today to express the sense of Congress that President Trump did not uh, commit an insurrection. I want to express my gratitude to Senator Vance for filing the companion legislation over in the Senate. And now it's time for members of the House and Senate to show where they stand on this question. We and the former president welcome and expect many more co-sponsors in the coming days and look forward to a floor vote. And now I'd like to recognize my co-lead on this project, our terrific Republican Conference Chair, Elise Stefan. The defense of Donald Trump's actions within the legal framework, particularly emphasizing Matt Gaetz's assertion of Trump's innocence regarding incitement to riot. It highlights how some politicians grapple with what they see as unjust accusations against Trump. Gaetz's criticism extends to Colorado's bureaucrats amidst a general sentiment of distrust toward bureaucratic overreach and prompts contemplation on the role of elected representatives in such matters. Expert opinions emerge advocating for popular candidates' removal from the ballot, critiquing Trump's biases, and stressing the perception of beloved figures being unjustly targeted to bolster a victim narrative. The narrative underscores the urgent need for Congress to articulate its stance on Trump's actions, gain institutional support, and legitimize its position. Moreover, there's a desire to shape public opinion through official channels, leading to a call for resolution within Congress to define its stance on Trump's actions, secure institutional backing, establish legitimacy, and influence public sentiment through formal avenues.